This is a Fender Twin Amp. It's uh, from 2001 or 2, I think. This is a top end 100 watt tube amp uh, from Fender. Two 12 inch speakers, uh, which we'll see when we go around the back. Um, and two channels uh, that do uh, a couple of things, clean and dirty, obviously. Let's just take you around the, the amp first. Um, let's turn it on so that the tubes get warm which you need to do before it gets going. So here we go on the back, power switch. Uh, I'll just turn that on and you'll see the light goes on around here. Then you've got the standby switch, which you need to uh, keep off while it warms up. You've got power sockets uh, for your normal kettle lead. Then you've got fuse and uh, here we have the quarter power switch, uh, which I've got as quarter power, I'm going to switch it up to 100 watts for this demonstration, uh, but the quarter power obviously brings it down from 100 watts to uh, 25 watts. Then we've got the send and return effects loop, which allows you to use an effects loop and to balance the uh, the relative volumes uh, before and after um, the OR effects loop. Okay, then you've got the preamp out, power amp in, I don't really use those foot switch, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, then you've got uh, various uh, bits that I don't understand, frankly. External speaker, main speaker plugs, and the details that you need if you want to hook up a cab to that. And inside, you've got your two uh, Fender speakers, uh, made by Eminence, I think. Um, you've got a space, I don't know how well you can see it there, um, to strap in your foot switch and a little bit of space if you want to fill that up with other stuff when you're moving this beast around. It's a very heavy amp. It's um, about six stone, I think, uh, without anything else in it. So um, it takes a bit of um, moving around. Thankfully, it's got casters down there. Uh, these are the original casters uh, that have lasted well for um, about 10 years, roughly. Now on the front, well on the top, you've got a handle on the front. Input, and then you've got the controls for your first channel. You've got volume, you've got travel base and middle, um, and a bright switch as well. Now, with these, I always um, I read something ages ago about Fender 6 being a good sound. So, you have your volume on 6, your treble on 6, and then your bass on 2, middle on 3. 2 times 3 is 6, then that gives you a kind of standard kind of sound that you can work from. Um, now, volume 6 on 100 watts is going to be very loud. I'm going to turn that down a bit for this uh, demonstration. Uh, over here, we've got the second channel, uh, which is the dirty drive kind of sat channel. And again, I'm going to put it on that Fender 6, treble 6, bass 2, middle 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Gain, we'll start with it fairly low. We'll have a look at that in a moment. And volume, relatively low. We'll We'll see what it is. Channel select, if you're not using the foot switch, then you can do this uh, to turn it on and off. But at the moment, the, switch, the foot switch is controlling that. Then you've got all the other bells and whistles. Uh, you've got your reverb here, uh, which is a nice uh, reverb sound. You've got speed and intensity for tremolo, uh, which is fairly self-explanatory. And you've got presence, uh, which is your ordinary presence control for both channels and you've got your light. That's uh, the amp to start off with and now we'll have a look at what it sounds like. Now one thing I forgot to show you before was the foot switch. Uh, as you can see it's a uh, four buttons foot switch uh, which does the simple jobs. Uh, it changes the channel and gives you the light to tell you that you're on the dirty channel or it's off to show you that you're on the clean channel. Then you've got the effects loop which turns it on and off. Got reverb, which turns it on and off. Again, these all work as you'd expect. And tremolo to turn that on or off. Now, one little thing uh, to tell you about the tremolo before we have a look at the sound of it is that on the 25 watt mode, the quarter power, then the tremolo isn't as effective. It doesn't sound as loud. Uh, it doesn't sound as clear. Um, that's because of the way it works. It actually modulates the whole power section of the uh, of the amplifier, from what I read a long time ago. Anyway, let's have a listen to how it sounds. Well, for this demonstration, I'm using an 
Ibanez S470 stock pickups. Um, pretty standard humbucker uh, guitar uh, with a single, uh, single coil in the middle. So let's start on a clean sound. Uh, this is the clean channel. I've got the, only the volume on two and, uh, and we're on the 100 watt mode. Uh, bright switch is off. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but this is plenty loud enough and it's only on volume two. Uh, so I'm not going to crunch it up really high uh, because that will hurt my ears, frankly. Um, just so you know. So here we go. Any uh, reverb you're hearing there is from the natural room. It's quite a big room here that you're hearing this in. I don't know what the sound quality is like on this camera either, so um, apologies if it sounds horrible or if it's not coping well with the, with the volume of this thing. Uh, I'm trying to keep it quiet for that reason, uh, amongst others. So that's a kind of standard sound from a bridge humbucker pickup. Here's the, uh, here's the uh, neck pickup. <laughs> So that's the, uh, the clean sound, uh, and then here's, here's on the uh, middle pickup, which is a single coil, that's why you've got a little bit of hum there. While we're on this mode, uh, we might as well try out um, some of the reverb and tremolo effects. So here we go on uh, reverb. So, so far we've not had any reverb on. I've just turned it on. I'm going to turn it up now. Makes a little bit of noise. with it on uh, four, I'll turn it up all the way. Quite a wet sounding reverb there. I'm going to turn that down again and we're going to have a look at the tremolo. I'm going to turn it on at the foot switch. Uh, so here we go, here's the intensity, I'm turning up the intensity. The speed is as slow as it goes. strong reverb effect, uh, tremolo effect when you've got the 100 watt uh, mode on. I'm going, to, um, I'm going to turn that down a bit to about 4. I'm going to try different speeds. So if you uh, up the speed uh, in terms of numbers then that does it quicker. Let's have it five, 5 on each of them. 5 speed, 5 intensity. Speed. 
t t uh, tremolo and reverb. Now let's have a look at the dirty channel. So I'll just turn that on there. Let's start on the neck pickup. Um, so this is the gain on only, let's put it on two to start off with. Um, on there too you're getting a lot more crunch than anything on the clean channel so the clean channel is very good for um, for your jazz and uh, that kind of clean sound um, but obviously if you want to you can uh, stick a pedal in front of uh, the clean side of things um, I've used a Boss Overdrive uh, pedal which uh, sounds lovely I have to say with this amp um, you can't really go wrong with it uh, a Turbo Overdrive I think it's called um, Really good, really enjoyed it. No, it's turbo distortion, is it? I can't remember. Anyway, it's a nice pedal and it sounds good uh, with this amp on the clean section. Anyway, you didn't want to hear about that, so here we've got gain on two. Go to, uh, hang on, that was on single coil. This is neck now. Lots of usable sounds here. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, bridge pickup. Uh, there you go. That's just with the gain two, and it obviously goes all the way up. Let's go for a five. Getting a bit of noise now, but this is very loud. <laughs> I remember how that riffs goes. Anyway, that's with a bridge pickup. Uh, something a bit softer. As, uh, as you might not expect, in fact, uh, for Fender, this has actually got quite a lot of gain, quite a modern sounding um, dirty channel. Uh, so that's on five, let's go all the way up to ten. And you've got lots of gain. I don't normally buy a Fender for the game, but this has got plenty of gain that you can use um, if you want any kind of classic rock sound. Um, probably if you want to do really super heavy metal stuff, um, then you probably want a different kind of speaker and uh, maybe a solid state amp and loads of pedals and things. But for a vast amount of music, then this, is, this has got it covered, really. Um, only if you want uh, two different kind of uh, dirty sounds. You can't really do that on this, um, so you'd have to use pedal to get your second dirty sound because the clean is so clean on here that you're going to have to drive it insanely hard um, if you're wanting just to plug straight into it to get your dirty. Um, so you can use pedals in front of this, uh, it sounds great. Uh, but there's the Fender Twin Amp 2011. Thanks for watching.